But your thoughts on what the Warriors are doing have none regarding Klay Thompson. Well, you just mentioned the sign and trade with Dallas, so that's saving a little bit of face. But, um, I mean, what what did I see? I saw they turned down a trade. It was Wiggins. Wiggins and CP's contract. Yeah, for Zach Levine and the number one. Something like that, yeah. And they said no. Yeah. Uh, Wow. Okay. So Mike Dunleavy, what are you doing? What what are you doing, Mike Dunleavy? And the thing is, I I guess it's commendable that the Warriors are okay with a sign and trade for Clay to the Mavs, because the Mavs seem to be the favorite for Clay. Why would you agree to th- that? Sending Clay for signing trade to a team in the West because I think it's the lesser of two evils. I think they're doing that to keep him away from LeBron. I mean, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, I just sign and trade him to the to the East. <laughs> you know, right. but I, right. I mean, right. okay. Then your thoughts on LeBron possibly because I mean, it sounds like the. Creating options that could help the Lakers are kind of drying up. So that means LeBron signed it for three years, one sixty-two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he was agreeing to taking a pay cut if nah. the Lakers could get could sign or acquire impact free agents. So, so I think now with the Lakers doing their pivoting now, I think they're going to use those contracts. Uh, it's kind of a joke. Uh, late Friday night that uh, D'Lo didn't opt in until after Jate Murray was traded. <laughs> so, but now I think he's going to be traded anyway. I think they're going to use that contract. Uh, Gabe Vincent and uh, I-, I saw they were in on uh, Jeremy Grant from uh, Portland. Yeah, uh, possibly uh, Brooke Lopez. Which okay, answer me this: Do you trade for Brooke Lopez? Or do you sign James Wiseman? Based on what I saw last year and a half? I know. I know. I, 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 I forgot who I was talking to. I forgot who I was talking to. But no, I mean, just from the perspective of you don't want to give up your assets. I mean, yeah. Brooke Lopez is a complete. And you got oh, yeah. Yeah. A James Wiseman out there. Um. So, yeah, I get it. But yeah, so. um. Jeremy Grant, possibly, um, and a trade. But all those things, because Brooke Lopez would help AD stay at the four. Yeah. But Jonas Valanciunas would have helped AD stay at the four. <clears throat> Jeremy Grant, AD is going to be at the five. Yeah. Which he doesn't like to do too much. Right. James Wiseman, is not a starting center in, in the NBA. Correct. Correct. He still, he has potential, and he shows signs of it in March and April. He still fouls too much his defense. <clears throat> more and more, I put a lot of this stuff, what I saw last year from the youngsters, at the f- feet of the coaches. I don't know what they were teaching young men last, last year. Mm. Defensively, they just, it made no sense what they were doing right. defensively. So maybe James Wiseman going to a team actual coaching, <laughs> you know, can help him. He's still seven feet tall. He still has the light hasn't come on yet. And it may never come on yet. But with the right staff, right teammates, you know, I'll say this. <clears throat> I think if I'm the Lakers and he'd ha- I'd have to have better big man in front of him, but I'd rather have James Wiseman than Christian Wood. That's, and Jackson Hayes, who just opted in. I'd rather have Jackson Hayes than Christian Wood. Right. Right. Yeah, because those two, Christian Wood is talented, but Christian Wood just seems to believe and exude that he thinks he's better than everybody else. 
and not understanding his role. And, and, he, and he rocks the boat too much. Yo, man, you, <laughs> you bounce around a lot. <laughs> understand that. Look yourself. Look in the mirror. I understand that. All right. But whatever. <clears throat> All right. That'll do it. Uh, this was good. Thank you. It kind of worked out for us because you're going to be on the road Monday. Yep. But doing the show today worked out for it so we could talk about NBA free agency. So it all, you know, the start of it. So it's all good. I'm kind of curious to see what Detroit is going to, how, who they're going to spend the money on and overpay because they got to spend it on, on some folks besides right. Tim Hardaway Jr. Because they get still have fifty million dollars of cap room, even with Kay Cunningham agreeing, and he has a signed it. He still got to hammer out the details agreeing to the new five year deal. Boy, if it's five year deal, that's that's a great thing for the Pistons. Because at some point, maybe by year three, they'll be good. <laughs> you know, won't be the next two years, but right. year three, they'll be better this coming season. Be hard for it to be worse than we were last year, but they'll be better. Rockets, once again, Rocket fans will introduce Reed Shepard this Tuesday afternoon to the media, having the intro press conference for Reed. I'll be there for that. I think it starts at one o'clock. I'm assuming it will be streamed on rockets.com it would make sense if it's carried live on um space city's home network on tv 